Leaves are constantly busy and more complicated than you might think. The leaf is the primary site of photosynthesis. The internal structure of the leaf is adapted to ensure the process of photosynthesis is as efficient as possible. Let's take a closer look, one layer at a time. Plants need water for photosynthesis. Water is taken up by the roots and transported to a plant's leaves through vascular bundles, which contain a hollow tube for water transport called xylem. Xylem is connected all throughout the plant in order to ensure that water can move around freely and quickly. Phloem is the second vascular tissue. Leaves produce sugar through photosynthesis and all parts of the plant need this sugar for energy. Phloem is responsible for carrying sugar to every cell in the plant. Like xylem, phloem is connected from roots to leaves in order to transport sugar throughout the entire plant. Then, let's move on to sunlight. When you touch the outside of a leaf, you are coming into contact with the cuticle. The cuticle is a waxy, water-repellent layer that covers the surface of the leaf. Similar in function to our skin, the cuticle provides a barrier to harmful bacteria, dangerous viruses, and environmental toxins. Just below the cuticle is the upper epidermis. This single layer of cells acts as a buffer between the outside and the inside of a leaf. The sun shines with more intensity on the tops of leaves and the upper epidermis functions as an added layer of protection from the sun's heat and light. It also helps protect the leaf by preventing the loss of water. The palisade layer is where most photosynthesis takes place. The cells in the palisade layer are packed closely together to maximize the absorption of sunlight. The cells are packed tight, but not too tight. There is a tiny space between each cell to allow water and carbon dioxide to pass. Once you leave the palisade layer, you enter the spongy layer. The spongy layer, located in the lower half of the leaf, is made up of loosely packed, irregularly shaped cells and many air pockets. The air pockets allow for the leaf to take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen. The last layer within a leaf is the lower epidermis. Like the upper epidermis, it acts as a buffer between the outside and the inside of a leaf. The most important structures on a leaf's lower epidermis are the mouth-shaped openings called stomata. When stomata are open, carbon dioxide is taken from the atmosphere and oxygen is released. This exchange makes photosynthesis possible. Stomata are able to open and close in response to their environment, and they are especially sensitive to light levels. Stomata are typically open during the daytime when the sun is out, photosynthesis is occurring, and CO2 is in demand. At night, there is no need to acquire carbon dioxide, and the stomata close to prevent too much water loss. In the Namu world, you can play with the cell or other parts of plants like roots or flowers turning into fruits. Download the Namu app and have loads of fun exploring wonders of plant life.